But the Greens have got this information out about how hard it is for people to buy a house. Now, again, hardly breaking news, but still we start to see some numbers here. Average earnings in Australia are about $80,000, right? Um, if you're going to be uh, going for a unit, it's $130,000 that you need to earn to be able to get into any capital city, right? Let alone the one you may well end up living in. And, of course, it's going to be the best part of uh, you know $200,000 if you're trying to get into a house. Again, I know that there's no breaking news here, but I keep talking about housing because I think the Greens are going to do with housing what they did with the environment 20 years ago, which is that the, the want to appeal to renters is how they're going to wrap all the other garbage that, uh, that comes with them. What do you think? Well, yeah, I know. I, I know you've been talking about that a lot, but I think people have to be smart enough, surely, out there to see that they can't... They're, they're still just a, a party of protest and they can't actually do anything significant to change the reality of the situation. I mean, they can badger the government about you know, doing things about negative gearing, but I don't think that's going to change overall what's really happening. And I think a large part of it is going to have to do with, obviously, immigration numbers, and that's not something that the Greens uh, really have gone hard over. But, yeah, it is shocking, some of the figures that have come out today, that show basically outside of really Perth and Darwin, people who are on single incomes and average incomes cannot afford basically, even a unit, Both without severe cities. mortgage stress. And if I could take the man cave there, yeah. I would. But I know you love Darwin. I love Darwin. It's fantastic. <laughs> but seriously, you haven't already? Go there July the 1st. You can blow stuff up. It's amazing. <laughs> it really is. Um, but also... <laughs> so let's get to Tasmania here, because I don't, I don't want to uh, cut this conversation too short. But, Michael, um, Jackie Lambie, right? OK, so we know that her brand is particularly strong in the north. We know that she's going to get a bunch of seats because she is endorsing whatever her version of politics is. But her own candidates are openly admitting they don't have any policies. But conversely, the Libs are trying to spit in her eye when she could be the easiest path to forming a government. Do you think when push comes to shove, she goes with the most number of seats? Or, given that she's going to want to put one in their eye... I mean, this sort of licorice all sorts coalition could well be built. Labor, Greens, couple of independents, and Lambie, and Rockcliffe's done. Mm. No, look, I don't think the Labor Party can can have a coalition with the Greens under any circumstances, uh, and I don't think they will. Uh, they might take uh, a guarantee of confidence on the floor of the Assembly and an agreement not to vote for uh, vote against supply. But can Labor get into a coalition with the Greens after the Greens' disgusting sort of anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish performance over the last month or so? I mean, the Greens are... They're toxic. Um, they, 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 they're, they're hatred um, of, um, of, of Israel and so many of their, their members who... Prominent people like that Jennifer Long, Long who have made no. very anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish comments just disgusting. I mean, can, can the Labor Party afford... To let it be known nationally uh, that they are in a coalition with the Greens. I mean, there's a lot of Jewish people who have historically voted for uh, Labor. Uh, they will lose every single vote and probably lose Melbourne Ports, uh, and the Independent will lose um, uh, Turnbull's old seat uh, um, if they get into any coalition with the Greens whatsoever. So that's why I don't think. An all sorts Labor government is possible. Um, you, you know, what is mo most likely is that Rockcliffe gets, you know, um, load mid teens, 13, 14, and that he gets to 18 by a couple of Lambies and a couple of independents. I think that's the most likely outcome, mate. Yeah, this is the thing. The, the licorice all sorts are a whole bunch of independents, including people who had been expelled from the Liberal Party or expelled from the Labor Party. Um, there's lots of mm. different ways they can mm. get there. Mm. But, Caroline, I, I've got to replay the candidate on Channel 2 last night openly saying, yeah, we've got no policies. So we haven't already got pre-decided policies so you know, specific areas. And that's, to me, that's true democracy. Here we are representing the people. True democracy <laughs> is, I, I don't know, uh, you tell me once we get there. It's Marbo. It's and the vibe of the it. thing. It's the vibe of the thing, Paul. But that is confidence like... when you know, as long as you've got the, the right hat, the right name and the right person next to you, you don't have to have an idea. You don't have to offer solutions. You just are there, as Jackie is in the federal parliament, to point out what the problems are all the time. Oh, does this stuff work in Tasmania? I, think, I, I can't imagine that it would. I and yet, she, I mean, she's so popular that maybe they can just turn up and be like, hey, here's Jackie's face on my T-shirt. 
shirt, vote for me. We don't have anything other than that to offer you. I don't believe Jackie Lambie for a second when she says she's going to stay out of any negotiations. Course, that, I mean, course. the party is literally named after her as if she's not going to be telling Which, of course, what ironically, to make. was when it was Clive Palmer. She wanted to get away from there. So it's, it also all depends on how finely balanced things are and about whoever the major party is that tries to get in there and split a couple of people off from someone. Oh, don't take orders from her anymore. You're your own person. Anyway, all of that tomorrow night, 6 o'clock.